Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Borderlands. And in this episode, I'm going to be starting the Secret Armory of General Knox DLC. So without further ado, it's time to just go, ignore all that, go down, and go, not the Underdome, T-Bone Junction. So yeah, this is probably the hardest DLC out of the three ones that are on Moxie's Underdome, because that's just, that's just annoyingly hard um, if you don't have really good equipment I mean I could try it but I don't know I feel like it'd be best to do with someone else anyway I'll keep quiet for this Probably the best thing. We must speak immediately. Oh, hang on. I'm afraid for my own security, and therefore you must jump through a hoop or two. Talk to the mechanic. He knows where to find me. And a word of caution: don't touch him if you ever want to eat with your hands again. So yeah, well, the best thing about this um, DLC is probably Athena, because she's probably one of the best characters in the whole series. Can't in all the spin-off games like Tales. Pre sequel counts as like main game because it's in between stuff like that. She's probably one of the best characters in the whole series, as I said. Um, but yeah, time to get going. Nothing else, I sell all these. Boom, there we go. Right, so scooter's not hard to find. And actually, before I do carry on, I believe this is the place that is used in um, Tails when you go to see Scooter. And that sign gives it away. I believe so, I could be wrong. Anyway. To Moxie's, obviously, you'd know about Moxie if I did the other DLC, but I'm not really good about doing that. I basically, well, I might do it as I said, mm, I don't know. But basically, she had four husbands, <coughs> most of them were douches to her, and yeah. Anyway, I don't believe there's anything else you want, no. Oh, is that over here? Yep. So yeah, the monster is the new vehicle you get for this DLC only. But yeah, I believe what you do get here. Yeah. Where are the Crimson Lance security cameras then? Oh, one around here. They're quite easy to take out though, so it's fine. Anyway, um, 
God, I was been joking about then, Jesus Christ. Right, anyway. Um, yes. Um, I don't know how many parts this is going to take. I mean, as I said, it's probably the longest DLC unless I just did it slow. But you have to keep them going up and down a lot. So yeah, blooming scooter's going to make a make a vehicle for us, and he doesn't even know what's going to blooming happen. That's just how much of a moron he is, but he's a great character nonetheless. So yeah, can't take it away from scooter. He's a good character. Right, so that's the supercharger, nitrous tanks all the way over here. So yep, there we go, Scooter is overreacting. But it's fine. It's fine. So I believe up here is where you get your first assassins, which are new enemies for this DLC. And all I'm going to say is, they are annoying. Oh, here we go. Here comes the bitches. They love to wiggle around like worms. I believe they're weak points on their back, so you can get behind them, but that's not easy. That Minerva, I think it is, isn't it? No, Vulcan. I think Minerva's in the um, side quest you get. Come then, you sons of bitches. You want to go? You want to go? Where are these? Here they are. You look, they wiggle like worms, they blooming. They attack you, blooming run off. Oh, this ability is the worst for these. Oh dear. Just gonna run over here. Click that, check where the next light bit is. Off we go, stupid bitch. Bitch, right, Vulcan left, and I'm done. So yeah, this is what Athena used to be, one of these assassins. She's the best one of them all, without a doubt. And yep, that's basically she's describing her. So she was the top, as I already said. Beat her to it. That's right, so exhaust pipes over there. I'm sure there's a security camera around it. There must not be. I thought there were. Never mind. Not yes, as I was saying. Time to go up here. I believe you can get the thing down there. Hang on. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, it's fine. I'll get it another time. I'll do this mission for now. Where's the exhaust pipe? Is it in here? Probably is. I don't know. Anyway, yes. Is said. And yeah, I believe like last time you don't actually need to do any missions for him. So I don't see the point in him being there. I guess he's just there because he's just, you know, there. You do get a few missions for him in Borderlands 2 though, so yeah. Oh, it's in the front. There we go. Right, um there we go. Wow, I managed to defeat it before it even started operating. 
Well, that's a bummer for it, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm going to have to go all the way back. Do you know what? I want as well make the monster first. It'll make it easier to travel. Yep, now it's time to be a grease monkey. So I'm going to wait for that until this is done. And it's another collecting mission. So I was being sarcastic when I said there's not going to be another mission like the brains one. Because there is. You have to collect these cores. But sometimes it's RNG of which ones drop what core. So yeah. Could be annoying. Alright. Before I go do the missions I'm meant to be doing. Might as well equip that, but first go to Marcus's place <coughs> and get this opportunity for me in T-Bone Drunk Tom. So yep, cause this is this could be annoying. I mean, Marcus just gives so many annoying missions because um, what will eventually happen, as I said, um, when you get to the army, which is like the final mission. Gives you the chance to do it twice, a, twice more. Yeah, that's good for equipment, but it's just annoying because you have to get there. Oh, I don't know where these last two are, but yeah, these probes aren't that bad. That was placed in an awkward place to get the uh, equipment, but I guess when it started to move about, that's when I could have done it. But yeah, the monster basically has a really big boost. Um, it can last for ages with a boost. Anyway, there we go. Easy. Yeah, this is probably the best weapon I've had in Borderlands for a while because I never used to do that to the drones, but it's fine. Bet I know where that is. That could have been risky, but it's fine. Right, where is it? Um, over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we go, that's done. Don't know why I'm doing that. I need to go find the plate. Here we go. Go from here. So, yeah, that isn't the most productive way of doing that mission, but it's fine. Oh, don't get stuck. Go get a fresh vehicle. Want to make it to scooters. So yeah, as you can see, Atlas talk a lot of bubble. Um, talk talk wet a lot. Um, but, uh, never mind, I guess. I'll, I'll whip their backside, so it's fine. So there we go. There we go. Good experience. Anyway, I need to probably start doing this, what was I say I was going to do? Uh, I don't know actually if I want to do that. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> I don't know. There's not really much else to do, is there? So yeah, clear the roadblock, might as well do that. I mean, the mission with the four assassins, obviously I've taken that one. You've got four more for that wanted dead. One of them, I believe, is in um, the Crimson Tollway, but all four of them aren't there. It's one of those things where it's a mission where it goes across all different areas. They don't do many of them. Here, just I'll keep quiet for a bit. So, yeah, basically, there's one, I believe there's one in the Tollway. There's one outside Moxes where I'm about to go. Oh, it's either in the toll way or the other way, because like, you've got this way going down, you've got the other way, I don't remember what that's called, but yes, you've got the Crimson Toll way. And then the other way can be annoying to go through, because sometimes a barricade blocks your vehicle from going through. The first time it does, because you have to go through the run and gun. But then sometimes it's open, so you can just put, go through with your vehicle. But sometimes it's closed. 
and that can be quite annoying. Anyway, yes, whereabouts is the roadblock? Right down there. As you can see, it's a pretty big map, but it's supposed to be in your vehicle, so it's fine. Oh dear, what am I doing? I'll just take the death, because that was stupid of me. I knew it was coming, and I still blew in did it. I guess this gives me a chance to get more ammo. Look at that, three million. Lovely. Millionaire. Alright, go this way. Always looks like a scary jump, but it ain't that bad. And yeah, you do get other vehicles as well, which can be quite annoying. They're not like um, measly vehicles now. They're like monsters. You get ones known as Cheetah Poor as well. We've got these right here, Crimson Lancers. The most annoying thing about these is that you have to uh, fight one whilst you're not in a vehicle um, for the circular slaughter that you get uh, post game or post DLC I should say there we go that was a close shave oh dear oh dear oh dear move 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 crap never mind bitch Bitch. Right, are there any things near? Oh, behind me. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have stayed and fight. I should have just went, but never mind. So they don't give much experience anyway. Because of the level difference. So, off I go again. Right, spawn, teleport, lovely. Right, here we go, here comes the barrier. Well, roadblock, but same thing, kind of. So, if you get a few of these throughout this DLC. Anyway, yes, badass is down. Lovely. They collect their cores. Ooh, two shocks. And yeah, each one does give you um, abilities. So shock one lets like shoots a repulsive shock out. Um, the yellow one gives you speed, I believe. And then the red one gives you like a sudden boost of health. And I mean a sudden boost. There we go, lance shock trooper. Luckily you don't have to crit kill them to get their cores. But this weapon seems to be pretty good anyway. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a few around, but I'll get them when I go round. Can't get them right now. Well, I can get them right now, but I'll rather get closer first. So as you can see, you get a lot of like equipment and stuff from fighting these bitches. I don't know, maybe you can. Oh yeah, it's cool it's a bridge, but... Oh no, it must not. It must, I think it must give a boost of power, then not a quick like boost of health. Engineers, what annoying idiots! You want some? I'll give it yeah. Bitch. Yeah, it's yeah. The only problem with rocketeers sometimes it's not easy to get the um, cores unless they come closer. Oh, I got the wrong one. Crap. Never mind. There's plenty of opportunities to do it. And if there are some still on the floor, I can get them when I come back round. Oh, still got these bitches, of course. Can't go out without a defender. 
I believe a badass will be down here. Is it? I think it's corrosive. It's corrosive, but no, it's shock. I believe. Badass shock. I believe. Anyway. I won't collect anything yet. I want to make sure I clear out before. So yeah, that's a lance shock. Obviously, if I have a normal weapon that has, that isn't any um, element. You should be fine dealing with anything, it'll just be neutrally effective with everything else. Like, so I don't have to use a corrosive weapon on corrosive, but obviously it'll be good for everything else, but corrosive I can just use this, which would be good on everything else. I believe corrosive is probably the best type to use. Um, oh, I didn't get activated before. Oh yeah, he is, badass shot. I think it was, unless it was just... Yeah, it is. I knew it was badass shot, I remembered. Because some badasses are always in the same part. I believe if you shoot the, uh, like, things on the shock things at the side, you can easily deal with them. But yeah, that shock thing you had there heals them up a bit. Right, whereabouts are you then? Come on. Oh, you're out here. That's fine. Bitch. Just trying to click some cores, man. Oh, I see. Combat medic. Yeah, I mentioned about getting these medics. You can easily shoot down their um, medic turrets, though. Or well, the healing turrets, I should say. But I believe grenades are the best way to like deal with these fishes. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, that was lucky. Unless I must have shot the things off it and made it like blow up before I carry on. I grab this because it could be ammo, bit of ammo, but it's better than nothing. Is that a rocketeer? Must be. Jesus Christ! It's a badass rocketeer. Oh dear. Badass rocketeer is probably like the only big threat. But even then, I'm doing alright. This this weapon seems to be do really well against them. Right, that's good. Shock. Seems to be getting a lot of shocks in this area. I get a few of these ones, but yeah, you, power cores, obviously. I'm guessing you're supposed to be getting more shocks because the other one's got to get more of, and you've got the other ones. I think it's speed cores. Why do you always give me Blooming Legendary pistols? I don't want pistols. It's like they know I don't want pistols. So yeah, this is where I need to go. Oh, but this is where I'll hand in the Wanted Dead um, mission. Just so you know. Um, yeah, as soon as I pass a certain part, I'll be able to accept a new mission. Anyway, yes, these are special um, cr ammo caches, I guess. You could, well, not caches, but yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm full. My belly's full. I don't know if they're coming from the bottom or from the top. Either way, I'll deal with the bitches. Yep, from the bottom. Bitch. Bitch. Oh, wow, he had a power core. Shock when I had a power core. Sometimes that does happen. Sometimes I don't just have shock because they're shock and stuff like that. So it's random, as I said. So, yep, I will soon. Right here it is, yep. So yeah, I need to go to Mox's red light. Oh, first. carries on. Just gonna have a look around. Yeah, wanted dead it ain't this one, but that's fine. Minerva, there we go, that's what I mentioned about that one. Yeah, it looks like this is the only one that's active. I sent Steel to this planet to take care of this little problem, and also because I seriously have heard her. She talks all the time. And hello, what do you mean our friend the sun? So I guess I'm 
Come on. Finish him off. Finish him off. Really great. Of course they'll go away. Of course they would go away. I believe it's just checkpoint at the uh, thing. Oh no, further up. That's actually better. I don't know, it's not that far up. Not really. Give here some probes. They're not too bad though. There we go. You always get loads of these ammo uh, things as well. Dirt, 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 dirt. Explosive rain, no. No, 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 no. No, no. I don't think so. No, it ain't. I've got better than that, ain't I? Yep. Ooh, that looks good. Right, let's have a look at this one, shall we? Oh, much better. Much better. Right. Now I'll buy some ammo. Alright, there we go. They're stupid vehicles. Yeah, the monster isn't the best for some stuff. Oh yeah, you also get a new vehicle as well, it's like this really fast one. You'll see what it is anyway. Nyom, 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 nyom. Jesus Christ. It's not good with reversing, is it? Never mind, it's time to just get out of here. Me, sh me trying to block vehicles isn't really working, is it? So there we go. Oh, look at that amazing drift. Oh, beautiful. See how smoothly I did that. Oh, amazing. Alright, time to go. And then get to Moxie's red light. Where more things get interesting. And I believe you go to the prison next. And then you go get Athena. And then it's the final missions. Yeah, it might not seem a lot but only have to keep on going back and forth it is quite a lot but yeah I just stood there for about five seconds waiting for the safe logo to disappear because you can't travel to a different area when it's saving as you probably know anyway so um, going down to that bit and I'll be fighting the first um, of the Omega ambushes well the first Omega ambush I should say Right, come up here. Right, time to go. Time to go. Time to go, yeah, yeah, time to go. Ready for this drift? Oh. So, yep, there we go, he did kill Lucky. But he did say he's going to kill him, so there we go. But obviously, we didn't know he was referring to Moxie before. But now we know, like, turn the boost off. Um, oh god, I need to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, yes, time to go down here. Oh, Chater Paws, I'm going to have to eventually attack these anyway. I don't feel like the monster's good for combat. Yeah, it homes in on them, but it's not the best. It really isn't. Once I get the really fast vehicle, though, as I said, it'll be good. I need to be careful of these landmines, because 
I believe it just instantly blows up your vehicle, so yeah. Don't want that now. But you know if you're getting too close to one because they start clicking. Alright, oh, here comes a few bandits. Come on, you bandit scum, you want a piece of me? See, now you get different enemy types, so now you get killers and stuff like that. I mean, this probably will be a shorter episode because there's no point in me going to do the next bit when what? It's probably going to be like 40 minutes? I don't know. If I do get side missions I can do, I'll do them before time runs out. And yeah, when Moxie does want a mission, you've got to go for all the way back to here. And like, I don't know why they didn't add fast travel. It it just made it less tedious. So I'm guessing they're doing it so that you have to keep on like attacking and stuff and try and get you that side quest done and stuff. But it's just tedious because every time you come on here, new, you have to do that. But yeah, anyway, never mind. I believe I can get up here even though I ain't got a vehicle. I believe I can. I can, but it'd be easier to use a vehicle. It'd probably been quicker to just run and go get a vehicle, but never mind. Well, I've made a mess of this, you know. Jesus. I mean, I'm not just going to leave the enemies. I might as well kill them. And there's going to be quite a few enemies up here and all. But that's fine. I mean, it might not even hurt to do a shorter episode for a change. But when I do get to the next episode, I'm probably going to do two or three episodes in a row. It'll make it easier. Because then I can try and get a lot done in one. Because obviously when you have to keep on going back and forth, it can get tedious, as I said. Anyway. Right. Obviously there's not going to be any cause for a while. You don't always fight Atlas, even though it's based off of Atlas. But here comes the Omega squad. There we go. Move over this way. Bitch. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. Is that Hera? Yep. Hera first. It's fine. Heroin. You get it? Heroin. Heroin, yeah. Such wiggly worms. It's annoying. God, I hate assassins, I really do. I'm glad they're only in this DLC. I'm glad they weren't in the main game. Oh God, that would have been annoying. But you will, I will be fighting one assassin in um, the next DLC, but it's like a boss. I mean, I'm probably going to have a bad time with it. There we go, nice one, there we go. You destroyed... Right, um, time to go. Now I've done that. And yeah, you do get cores from these. So yeah, I guess you do get a few cores. Just to make sure it went on, yep. Survived Terror Squad. So 7, 16, and 0. That's alright, I guess. I knew that was going to happen, never mind. Yep, all I'm going to say is she's basically very flirty, um, and she loves her men. But I'm not referring her to you know what.
Yeah, as you can see, got to go to the outcropping, but it's fine. It's fine. Completely fine. I mean, I might do two videos in a row now, I don't know. Um, it depends. So, yeah, there's nothing else to do. But, yeah, do you know what? I might as well go do the prison break uh, mission now. So I'm going to go to Deep Fathoms and I'm going to have to go back to T-Bone, check if there's any new missions, then go to the prison. And I'll probably end it once I've removed the North and South block. And I will be fighting another one of the Omega Squad right as well. Yeah, but obviously I do need a different vehicle other than the monster because I need a vehicle that can basically jump the gap to the prison. But you'll see why soon when I get there. It's actually going to be pretty awesome. She so as I said, I have to change my mind. I'm going to do two videos in a row now instead of next. Right, um, I believe it's here. Yep. Let's see if I can get it. Crap, I missed it. It's fine though. Hang on, no, no, no. Racer, there we go. Racer is a little something I had my Scooby Kids whip up for me. Got the extra. Oh god, I think that mine's gonna go off. Extra junk in your trunk, yep. you'll need to storm the castle. See, I'm not gonna say anything about um, Shank and who he might relate to or his backstory or anything, because you will eventually find out. But you can probably guess um, for what I've mentioned throughout this video. Unless, of course, you'd already know if you've seen it. But yeah, as you can see with this vehicle, the boost runs out pretty quickly because it's a fast vehicle anyway. So, time to go. It's better than the monster, though. I believe it. It's a quicker way to get around. I mean, I probably won't use the monster again, because, yeah, it's supposed to be good, but as you can see, I just don't really think it's that good. I don't know. Right, I'll pick up speed for a bit, do all this first. You see how much better this is. There we go, much better. So, yep, that's just like my little experiment between both of them. It's harder to get them, but they're only really useless anyway. But yeah, that's the only problem with this. Um, if you go too fast down certain bits, you'll probably crash, but that's fine. You only live once. Alright, time to go through it. Obviously, it's pretty weak, but that's fine. It makes up for it for being able to kill quicker. Jesus Christ, there's no need for that many drones. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Boom. I could go collect all the cores and do all that bit again, but there's no need to. I mean, I've got enough time to do that core mission anyway. And it would be best to do it near the end when it's just literally all Atlas. Literally the final two places you go to, it's just full of um, Crimson Lance. Um, you also get these um, enemies as well as like these massive robots. 
that people are in. General Knox has them, but you do get enemies like it and all. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a bit too quick, wasn't it? Never mind. That was probably quicker, I don't know. Anyway. T-Bone Junction. Time to go. Carry on with this place. Probably get some ammo. Look around for stuff. And voila. I'm guessing there will be missions available. Because I doubt it's just going to be the prison mission. I don't remember if there's any other missions you get. But I know there's a Claptrap Rescue there as well. And I believe it does give you a backpack SDU. Maybe, I don't know. Give you something else. Maybe like an upgrade for something. Well, a different upgrade. But anyway. Let's go see if there are any new missions. No, there are not. Fair enough. No. Other one, man. Enter driver seat. There we go. Okay, there's no other missions, which surprised me, but... Never mind. So, yep. Move south block and north block. I believe the bit I was on about is in between both. What am I doing? I do not know. There's no need to go up there. I'll just go across here. And yep, it's just literally up here. So yep, now I'll be going to this way. I don't remember what this way is called. As I said, Jesus Christ, that's a bit weird. Yeah, this vehicle can be a bit glitchy if you crash into too many things. But never mind. So yeah, I forgot to say as well, this racer is also just exclusive to this DLC. Of course, for some reason they put that there, right there, just, you know. Oh, it's just called the Ridgeway, is it? Fair enough. As I said, I forgot what it was called, but never mind. So yeah, I don't know if I'll manage to get this uh, bit done for this episode, but if it ain't done, it ain't done. But this place can take ages. As I said, yeah, it is. That bit right there, that small, in more, it might seem like a small bit, but it's quite annoying going across there when you've got to walk across it and fight. Anyway. First off, I think you're cute. Second, Atlas Occupation of Pandora has put a real pinch on my business. When you guys started riling things up on this rock, more people came through my joint in a knife and booze went through my second husband's liver. Now, the land control of the highway is shutting me down in a hurry. That's where you and your chicken come in. Bitch, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, that's down, that stupid bitch is down. What the hell? Yeah, that's what I meant about it being glitchy. Jesus Christ. I find it funny though, it just glitches out like that. I think the vehicle's a bit broken. Anyway, is the first um, roadblock. At this time, there's two, as you can see through the mission objectives. And this is harder, I believe, because now you get pyros, which usually gives you powers. Power cores, I should say, not powers. You might not know what I'm specifically talking about. Come on, hurry up. Alright, collect all this. Get my health going up as well while I'm at it. Power, power, there we go. Bah, 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 there we go. Beautiful. I'm sure you lose, you get a mission where you... Oh, no, I was about to say, I'm sure you get a mission where you have to fight these two, um... Like, tough Crimson Lance guards. I forgot, that's when you get Athena back, and she sends on a mission to come back to this area and go fight these two guards. You'll see what I mean in a sec, anyway. Is it behind me? Yep. Of course it's a blooming medic, of course it is. 
bitch. Can I get Gehrig now, please? Yeah? Good. Right. Is there anything I missed out? In terms of cores or anything, I don't believe so. So time to go. Get some cores along the way as well. Collect all these and stuff, because you can get good money for selling them. Or sometimes you do find the odd weapons that you actually do want. Right. Where am I going? I do not know. Is this the way to go? No, it isn't. I don't know where I want to be going then. Unless it's over here. It must be over here. Yep. Of course it is. I'm not going to bother always opening up the uh, money boxes. because so, Most of the time you only get double digit amount of money anyway. Oh, it's a badass pyro, but if I can shoot his tank, it'll kill him quicker. So there's always exploit to the badasses, and that's the pyro's exploit. Bitch. All nice little hidden weapon cache here, look. Or weapon crate, I guess I could say. I, know, I keep on saying cache, and then change it to crate. I don't know what it's best to say. Oh look, it's an infantry. What a badass infantry, I should say. Right. This is where one of the two uh, guards would come, like big tough guards would come out, I believe. Yeah, I was about to say, I believe this is where uh, Mega one is actually. I don't know where the blooming. Whoever's supposed to be here is. Oh, yeah, there's Minerva. Wiggly worms, wiggly worms. Do you like wiggly worms? Because if you do, you'll like Minerva. Guessing it's just the way they're supposed to be. There we go. Stupid bitch. Can't beat me. I'm just too good for you. Joking. Anyway, um, yes. Collect that. Are there any cores I missed? No. Looks like I collected them all. Once I've finished with um, South Block, I will check and see what um, cores I've got to. Uh, well, like, progress on the cores, sorry. Not what I've got to do, just the progress on it. Is there anything over here first? Before I continue onwards, I don't believe so. But I'll open up this crate. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Oh, yes. That sniper's not as good, I don't believe. Let's have a look, actually. Um, well, that's much better in terms of damage. Wait, I put our oh, blooming held that. Never mind. Oh, I'll sort it out soon. I want to do this for now. Boom, boom. Here's my vehicle. Lovely. Right, time to go. Off we go. Jesus Christ, flipping out. I believe there's more turrets soon. Well, I believe so, anyway. Alright, yes, I was going to check on the progress of the cores. Let's have a look. 15, 1, and 20. Um, it's about fifth of the way there. But I'm about to face loads. Yep, most probably. Oh, you kidding me, you can't get it. Fair enough then. I'll, I'll fight it myself. Destroy it myself, man. Get me. Get me. Uh, no, you're not going anywhere, Wiggly Probe. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I, could, I failed to defeat a probe because accuracy just goes AWOL. It's, oh, I might as well sell weapons and stuff. Oh look, there are none around. What are the chances of that? Right, is it this way I want to be going? No, it ain't. It's this way I want to be going. Right. 50 minutes at this point. I don't know if that's bad or good, but it doesn't really matter. It's a good thing with games, you just take it at whatever pace you want to take it. I'm going to leave these now. Oh, look at that amazing loop. We're doing more of those amazing loops next episode. But yes, this is the... Um, Barricade I was on about that sometimes open but sometimes ain't. It's always um, closed the first time so that you have to go through here this way first time. But yes, um, this is going to be interesting. Maybe, it, maybe it's not going to take as long as it usually does for me. Maybe I was just doing it really slow last time. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Oh, you got over here. Jesus Christ, didn't know where you went. Bitch. Right, um, there we go. Do -do -do -do. Oh, weapon, lovely. Time to go. Don't remember how many of these bitches it's gonna be. But yeah, they love to teleport in, look. Look at them. Thinking they're grand because they teleport in. Bitch. Right, anyway, um, yes. Just gonna run through, cause them all to start trying to get me. I would say take out the hardest ones first, but. They're all as bad as each other, really. I see it. Stun the pyro. Yeah, there we go, bitch. Oh, yes. Speed core. I haven't seen many of these. Obviously, they're the rarest ones to get. Uh, get that. There we go. Are there any up here to get? No. Is that going to do much? It did alright, I guess. Oh, purple, Jesus Christ. What weapon is it, though? Uh, it's not as good as that, though. But as you can see, there are definitely easy ways of uh, changing weapons um, but yeah this is where I can also hand in a mission uh, well do this is a, another place for mission sorry um, anyway yes yeah. this is a place you get loads of rocketeers um, and I mean a lot it's not just here where you get them, you also get a badass a bit further on. But you'll see that bitch soon. What time are we on? 53, 54, sorry. Uh, that's not too bad. Well, I don't believe so anyway. Alright, time to get out of here. Oh god, I'm running out of ammo. But that's bound to happen in uh, this DLC. Just gotta hope we get good RNG with the ammo like there. Come on, good. Alright, 72. Oh yeah, I forgot more come out. Hopefully I don't get any badasses along the way. Don't think I have, have I? Nope. But there, I think it's always a badass that you're gonna get over further on. I believe so, anyway. 
Because I believe you do get one more and it's always a badass. Alright. Off I go. To go save the day. Whilst fighting this bitch. Yep. Is it always a badass? That's the thing I want to know. Oh no, it's not always a badass. Well, there's multiple actually, so it still probably is a chance of getting one. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Actually, no, this isn't taking as long as I first thought. Maybe I just had crap weapons and I couldn't deal with them easily. I don't know. Oh, shot core, lovely. Good, the core didn't get lost down below. Right, time to continue. It somehow ended. I don't know how, and it's supposed to be on no interruptions. It, it only cut off here. I literally only killed one more enemy that, than what was shown. Wow, was that a badass, really? Hmm. Unless it was injured before, and it must have been. There's no way. I could have killed it that quick. Surely not. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to go with this. I mean, it was 56 minutes the other one, so... I don't know, I'll probably go 10 minutes. Make it an hour and six. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Lance Pyro. Let's have it. Actually, I should probably get this power one. Oh no, it isn't a power one. I thought that was a power thing then. But it wasn't. Oh, here we go. Look, run out of ammo. What a great time to run out of ammo. Jesus Christ, this is a shock one. That I didn't even realise about. Yep, yeah, this is what I was on about. Devastators. Ooh, scary. Yeah, it's a shock one, I didn't even realise, but that don't matter. What matters is that I get through here alive. Oh, 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 he's shooting at me, are you? He's shooting at me, you son of a bitch. Oh, I could have dealt with this so easily. Because as soon as I would have popped it at his head, he'd have been dead. There we go. It's like boom, boom, boom. Here, let's see where you're, where you're. It's like boom, boom, boom. Ooh, quite a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Lovely. But I'm afraid this ammo will probably not last that long. I'm going to chuck a grenade. Hide around here. See what that does. Pretty much nothing. But uh, can't be helped all the time, can it? Nope. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together. Don't know why I'm singing that. Just ignore me. Oh, I know why, but I'm not going to say why. That's a shield. And it's a fire one as well. Light em up, 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 light em up, 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 light em up, 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 I'm on fire. Take all these grenades, bitch. Eat them all up for breakfast. See, look, that's like 32 bullets, wasn't it? I did that, lovely. It's because it shoots fast, that's why that gun's good. Oh god, I've got myself stuck. There we go. 
all this time and they dropped the power. Fair enough. So I think it's about an hour now, but I'll get out of this bit first. And once I get in the vehicle, I'll end it. Which will probably be, I don't know, about two minute time, I don't know. Yes, we've got some ammo, last minute ammo, that should help. Come on, I need to deal with this defender. Bitch. Oh, that gave quite a lot of uh, experience. Lovely. I did get a few cores for this, so I'm guessing it's a good thing that you have to you get to go through here this way. But, yeah. Anyway, um, see, the problem will be once I've finished with the prison bit, if I still have enough time, I don't know if it will be good to uh, just come through from here because I don't know if it will be open or not to go through. That's the problem. As long as there's no sh shock ones, I should be fine. This Crimson Lance. Situation. I can definitely tell that um, the other weapon is the best weapon to have at this moment. But I ran out of ammo, so I couldn't do much about it. Right. Um, get this weapon back out. Go get some ammo. Are you kidding me? can't even get any ammo. Oh dear. Right, so, in a bit of a predicament, but that is the end of this episode of my playthrough of the General Knox DLC. I don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, once I've done the prison thing, I believe you just go to Athena and then it's the final mission, practically, but you've still got all your side missions to do. And you get more to do after the DLC is finished on this one, so it'll probably take about five parts for the least but yes i hope you have enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one when i continue straight from here but until then with a massive thumbs up all i gotta say to you is goodbye and good night <laughs>